up? What's up? It's your girl Joe, the bar show to be exact. And as you can tell by the title, this video is going to consist of a story time. I hate to even use the word story time because story get a word lie, and unfortunately, none of this is a lie. <laughs> you know what I mean? Unfortunately, I can't make none of this up. Okay, no, nope. this is real life, real people, real stories, right? Okay, so let's just get into it. Let's so. As most of you know, I'm from Virginia, um, a little city called Petersburg, Virginia. Okay, real, real, real in the cut, real in the cut. Um, but at the time, maybe about a year and a half ago, I was away at school um, in undergrad, getting my bachelor's. So, you know, you had those little breaks. You come home for break. Now, mind you, there was this guy who was trying to talk to me, like, been in my messages, like, back and forth. I kind of always known he was interested or whatever since I was at school. So, we back and forth in the messages, like, chopping it up, talking real innocent, real cute. So I come home for break. I don't know what break it was. It was either that Christmas break or that that Thanksgiving break, one of the ones. And I remember I came home and at the time I was still working at Outback, okay? So when I came home for my breaks, shout out to Outback, Outback would let me come work. So mind you, finally me and him have been texting, talking, you know, whatever for a little while. Matter of fact, not even texting, inboxing. Inboxing. Keep that in mind, inboxing. All right, so anyway, we had been communicating back and forth for a little minute. So when I finally came home for break, he was like, oh, we should link. I'm like, okay, like, that seemed fine. I'm like, we had been talking for, like, a minute anyway, like, through text or whatever. So I'm like, yeah, we should link. And I, But the thing is, when I link men, let me just be clear, whether it's platonic or whether it's a date, whether it's my man, whatever, when I link men, I already go into the link knowing what I want. And I'm going to make that make sense in a minute. So when I say know what I want, I know like from like if it's a first date, I know whether or not I'm going to hug the person. I know whether or not I'm going to, you know, when you do the goodbye kiss, I know whether or not I'm going to even be willing to give a goodbye kiss. Like, and you might say it's overthinking, but I just, I'd rather overthink than not think enough. When he linked, I already knew like when I linked him, I'm like, yeah, that's fine. Like we could chop it up. Strictly just chopping it up, talking like meeting face to face. Like it's the first time encounter. We're not going to do too much. We're not going to do too much. Right? So... He called me or hit me up. Let me just say call. He hit me up, inbox me. He was like, oh, you should pull up. Woo. I'm like, well, I got to work today around three or four, but I could slide on you before I go to work. It's like, no, like we just chopping it up, catching up, talking like face to face, whatever. So it should be nothing, right? All right. So I get there, mind you, where he was staying at, it was an apartment complex that I was already familiar with. And when I say already familiar, I mean real familiar, like real familiar. I already knew. You know what I mean? What I already knew. So... It was no secret. He won't like park in the back. You know what I mean? Like park to make sure can nobody see you. He was very much like park in the front, like in front of the crib. So I'm like, okay, okay, cool. So we go in, we're kicking it. We're talking, going to the apartment. And it's just real cool. It's real, it's clean. That's one thing I noticed. I said, for this to be a manuscript, this is rather clean. Yeah, right. So, <laughs> and I just look as in the living room. Don't ask why I got this water got cut. Let's just <laughs> fast forward. And I'm looking, and it's a, um, you know those things the babies be in when they be hopping? Like, long story short, it's just toys. It's given very much there as a child in this home. And I'm looking at him like, do you have a child? You know what I mean? He's like, oh, no, 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 that's my nephew's stuff because he lived with his sister. That's what he told me, y'all. That's what he told me. That's what he told me. He told me he lived with his sister. And I believe him. So I'm like, okay, cool, cool. So he's like, yeah, that's my nephew's stuff. I'm like, okay, that makes sense. It's his sister crib. Who is she not to have her, her son's stuff in her own living room? So fast forward, we're just chopping it up. We're talking, just talking, just talking. Uh, fast forward, let's just, let's just say he ate and I watched. Do with that information what you will, okay? After you finish eating, I'm like, um, all right, well, let me head on out. You know what I mean? Because I got to go to work. I had to go to work in that afternoon. He knew that. So I'm like, well, let me head on out. He's like, oh, 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 where you going? Where you going? I'm like, well, I told you I was going on the clock. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I'm like, yeah, I got to work. And he trying his one too. You know what I'm saying? He trying to do his little one too. And I'm like, no, beloved, I got to go. I don't even know you like that. I'm going to just keep it a buck fifty with you. I said, I just met you today. I don't even know you. He's like, oh, what you think? I'm going to just leave you hanging. He think I'm going to just, he was like, you think I'm going to just use you and get what I want from you and leave you alone, never talk to you again? I 
told him, I said, I don't give up. <laughs> I said, I don't care what you do. Regardless if you do talk to me, don't talk to me, whatever. I ain't on that type of time with you, so I'm going to get up out of here. I got to go to work, nigga. Like, what do you mean? <laughs> I got to go to work. I got to go to work. So I'm out of here. Goodbye. So I could tell he was pouting, woo -woo, but I kept it pushing. Because one thing about it, no man about to tempt me or force me or persuade, concoct, whatever the word you want to put, force, pressure me to do something I don't want to do. If I don't want to do it, I don't want to do it. <laughs> so I didn't. I got up out of there and I clocked in. Got what I wanted and clocked out and clocked in. Yeah, got clocked out with him and clocked in, if you know what I mean. So I don't think nothing of it, right? Fast forward, days pass, don't hear from him. So I'm just thinking, oh, yeah, he probably panties in a bunch, you know, boxes in a in a stray or whatever they want to call it. I think I just made it up. But yeah, I'm like, boxes probably, he's, he's probably a little upset because he didn't get out of me what he thought he was going to get out of me. I move on fast, keep pushing. Don't think twice about it. You heard me? Like, I don't even, I'm not even looking for the man. <laughs> at this point, I'm not even looking for the man. Because in my head, I'm like, you're such a. Because why would you just meet me and want to give it up that quick? That tells right. me. That don't turn me on and make me think nothing. I think, wow, you're really, you really out just doing anything, huh? For somebody you just met. Yeah. So then, fast forward, okay? Days pass. I'm at, I'm at work, living my life, doing whatever. I get an inbox. Because mind you, we're not texting. What I tell you earlier, we're inboxing. Right. So I get an inbox that is from him and I, he like, you know, chopping it up with me, typical. And I'm not even pressing him like, where you been? Because I'm not going to be, I'm never that type of girl. Like, I'm not going to ask where you been because I know where you been in the streets. So I'm not even going to fake pump fake like, oh, how you been? Where you been at? I've been missing you. I'm not going to do that because I ain't. <laughs> so he just texted me, talking, woo, inboxing me. And he goes, in the conversation, because mind you, when I was at his crib, I spilled something on the couch, right? Right? Keep that in mind. Just do, do with that information what you will. But I spilled something. I messed the couch up. I spilled something on the couch, right? So in the middle of us, when once we reconnected, I'm like, we're inboxing. And he's like, you know, chopping it up with me. Like, when we going to link again? And it's been a third. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. My bad about the couch. Because I really did feel bad about messing up the couch. I didn't really mess the couch up, but it's like I spilled something on the couch. So I was trying to be funny, like trying to not make it seem like that I just came in and messed your sister crib up since it's your sister crib. So I, I think I said something like, well, tell your sister I said my bad for the couch. You know what I mean? Why does he, why does he inbox me back and say, what, what do you mean you're bad for the couch? I know, you're thinking the same thing I think. So at this point, I'm like, is he trying to be funny? You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm like, is he, is he trying to be funny? In my head, I'm like, you know exactly what happened to that couch. You know what I mean? So why are you playing like you don't know what happened to that? Like, you know what I mean, y'all? Come on. So at this point, I'm like, okay. So I just stop responding. I don't even respond no more. Because I'm just confused. And confusion is other devil. So I'm just not going to feed into it. So I just left, <laughs> I left it alone. I never responded back. I never responded back. Days later, right, hits me up again. He's like, hey, what's up? Bye, 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 bye. I'm like, what's up? And I guess he could tell I was kind of standoffish from the conversation. So he's like, what's up? What's wrong? I'm like, I don't know. You just threw me off the other day because we was talking. And you act like you didn't know what I was talking about. Like, we were not both there. You know what I mean? He going to say, um, oh, yeah, yeah. I, he think he told me something. His sister had his phone. Yeah. <laughs> I knew then something is fishy. You know what I mean? Something is fishy, and I ain't used to smelling fish. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> so, okay, cool. I don't say nothing about it. I don't even think twice. I just knew something was not, the math was not math. And that just, it just was not making sense to me. You understand what I'm saying? Y'all, when I tell y'all a couple weeks later, <laughs> A couple weeks later, I think it's like Thanksgiving or Christmas, right? I said, as long story short, the baby mama posts him and her and the baby. The little jit they got. He about yay high. He, he a good two, three years old. The baby mama posts him, the, ba the son, and him, the man. And it's not the post where you just post it because he the father of your You're posting because that's your man. You know what I mean? 
So then I, it all hits me. I'm like, because not I know the girl for one. <laughs> you know, for one, I know the girl. I know the baby mama that he dealing with. For two, I'm like, that wasn't your sister crib. Oh, you know what I'm saying? That was not your sister's crib. That was her crib. That was that baby mama's crib. That wasn't your nephew stuff. That was your son's toys. You know what I mean? Y'all, I was so thrown aback. Mind you, I never really, I had, at the time I had never dealt with nobody with no baby. I don't really, don't do them now and I didn't do them then. I didn't really deal with baby daddies and that's why I'm dealing with them, deal with them now. Cause I was just like, and that's, uh, part of me was like, is it my fault? But I'm like, no, okay. That wasn't the sister's crib. That was your baby mama. That's who you live with. That's what, that was your baby mama couch that I, not even ruined, but that I spilled stuff on like, ding, ding, ding. So at that point, I'm just like, these men is a mess, girl. I lied to you not. And then it really dawned on me. That wasn't him I was talking to when the, when the person was like, what do you mean what happened to the couch? That was the baby mama. <laughs> the baby mama had gotten access. Hold up, y'all. This is the light. It was the baby mother. That's why, that's why when I was talking to her, her I don't even say him now, but when I thought I was talking to him, he didn't know what I was talking about when I said something about the couch. But she was fishing. She was waiting for me to see what I was going to say. Now, had I said, oh, yeah, remember when? It would have blew everything. It would have blew everything. I would have, it would have blew everything. Because mind you, at this point, she knows who I am. I don't know that I'm talking to her. her. I think I'm talking to him. You know what I'm saying? But she, she got my page. She know who I am. She know my whole government. Really all hit me. I'm like, that's not your sister crib. That's your baby mama crib. That wasn't your sister or was it you I was talking to? That was your baby mama I was talking to. To tie it all in, that's what I'm saying, how small the community is, how small this city is. For one, I'm glad I ain't doing with the boy. Because yeah! imagine how, I'm not going to say I would have felt dumb, but imagine, well, me personally, I feel like I would have felt so bad had I done this. First of all, first of all I would have felt played because you got finessed. And then I would have felt so bad because I don't mess up no home, whether it's happy or not. I'm not messing up nobody home. So that part just shook me. But to title and to how the world is so small, not only did I know the girl, why was the girl my physician assistant without telling all the business? Because why I go to the doctor? I'm doing a checkup. Why I go to the doctor? She working in the office. <laughs> <laughs> y'all, I wish I could make this up. And y'all probably have heard craziest stories, so this is nothing. But when I really tell people this, it's just good for me to get it off. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, she's working in the office. So at this time, she knows exactly who I am. I don't really... And at this time, I know who she is. She might not know I know who she is, but I know who she is. Thankfully, she won't work with me. She won't work with my physician and none of that. But I was just thinking, I'm like, how men will have you in some mess and you have no clue what's going on. Because God forbid, why? Because this is the thing. I'm up in her crib while she on the clock. While he up in there eating all her corn chips and, and using up her AC to the place that she paid rent at, that she had a job right now for, you got me up in here with you. Mm -hmm. Sick. It's sick. And that's why I ain't taking care of me, but that's another time for another day. I'm gonna be all in my face. In her crib. The audacity for me. It's the audacity. It be the audacity. So then, I realized for me, it really, I'm not gonna lie to you, after that situation, it made me not want to deal with nobody from my city. Why? Because I, I'm like, I'm at school. I don't have time to be knowing who dealing with who down here. I don't be having time to know who baby daddy, who baby daddy, who baby mama, who baby mama, who been with, who been dealing with each other since middle school, but they on break right now, but everybody know they go get back together. Like, I don't, I don't know the ins and the outs. And then I don't be in the mix. I don't party down here. So I don't know who, when people go to the club, who they be walking in the club with. I don't know none of that. I'm not in tune. I don't be knowing because I'm at school. It's a whole other world, a whole other life. It's more to then, it's more to baby daddy's baby mama drama down. You know what I'm saying? It's more to that. So that's when I realized I said, well, I just don't need to deal with nobody that I ain't in close proximity with. Because you they'll still do you dirty and you in close proximity. But to the point when it comes to me being who I am, I'm like, and you never know, men might take advantage of the fact that it's like, oh, she's not from you like she from the city, but she's not here right now. She away. 
So I could have my junk here in the city. And when she come into town on her breaks, you feel what I'm saying? Like a, a man can really finesse that, fix that up if I'm not smart. So that's when I, ever since then, I'm like, you know what? I'm not dealing for with nobody from my city. And that was when like, I was still in undergrad. I was still in college. I said, I'm not dealing with nobody from my city because I don't know enough insight to know what's going on. And I don't care about these men enough to be arguing with no, no female. I'm telling that right now. Now, I'll fight you about a man if it makes sense. You know what I mean? If that, if, if it's a millionaire, you feel, I might, you feel what I'm saying? I might tussle you about him, but I'm not tussling you about nobody, baby daddy. No shade, no tea. And when I say that, I have nothing against baby fathers. Nothing against baby, I definitely don't got nothing against baby mamas. But I have nothing against baby fathers. I don't want nobody to think I'm discriminatory against people who have children. I just don't trust y'all. That's all. That is all. I don't have no beef. It's no, I hate you, would never date you. But if I, the thing is, well, baby days, why I don't deal with them, it's me. It's a me problem. It's a me problem. I don't have it in me to understand. I'm so selfish because I'm single and I'm young and I'm an only child. So I don't know nothing about you can't come see because your baby mama said you got the kids this weekend. I don't know nothing about that. I don't know nothing about that. And I don't want to know nothing about that. That's why I don't even date them. You know what I'm saying? It's not y'all. It's not y'all. It's really me. I'm so selfish. I'm not going to be understanding to know this is our th this is our anniversary and you can't go on our anniversary day because you got to take care of your son. I'm sorry. I don't have kids. I don't want, I, I want kids, but I don't have none. I don't want none right now. So I'm not about to deal with somebody that that's your life. I'm just not. Because then you're going to feel terrible when I tell you some kids. Yikes. Right. So I don't even, I don't even dibble dabble or deal with none of that okay i don't deal with none of that because i just don't but y'all when i tell y'all that thing shook me it really just really turned me off i'm not gonna say turn me off with men in my city but it just threw me when i realized that that girl was about to be servicing me health wise you know what i mean just made me go I can't. I'm not going to deal with nobody from the city because I'm not in tune enough to go to know what's going on. Thankfully, nothing came from the situation. Thankfully, I like I said, I know the girl and she's like, what I'm trying to say. Long story, like, she not dumb. Like, she, like, you know your man. I, I feel like to a certain point, like, and we can get into, we can really get into that later. We can really get into, y'all comment below and let me know if we, you really want me to get into that. But to a certain degree, when it comes to approaching the other woman or messaging other or walking up running up doing whatever to the woman at the end of the day you know your man so really ask yourself and she seemed like the one like she said like she got common sense when i say she is a certain type of woman she got common sense she probably analyzed the situation looked at me and everything i got going on i had going on at the time with being in school and she probably realized my man probably you know that girl ain't have a clue like you know what i mean that girl don't have a clue. Because I'm just not that type of girl. Like I said, I don't step into people's homes. I know people are like, I don't mess up happy homes. I don't mess up homes, period. Because the home will be monstrous and chaotic today. And people get back right tomorrow and it's a happy one. So I just don't come in nobody's home. I just don't dibble dabble in nobody's home. As soon as I know somebody, I don't care if somebody said, oh yeah, they was dating since high school, but they broken up there. I won't mess with them. I won't touch them. Because at the end of the day, whenever that woman wanted back, she going to, and he gonna go all running, and you gonna see him living down. But anyway, y'all, yes, that is my story time for the time that I thought the sister was the sister, but the sister was really the baby mama. And like I said, y'all, I can't make this up. I have so many other story times that I could give y'all, but I'll tell y'all too much of my business. But I really don't care because I've got through it now. And thankfully, none of them situations were too crazy, chaotic, traumatic, like charges pressed, police called, like drama. Thankfully, it was never that crazy. Because I kind of know how to move. You know what I'm saying? I, I kind of know how to, ooh, 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 you know what I mean? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Or play things safe. But yeah, if y'all want any more story times, please, please, please like the um, video. Comment, like, comment, like, comment, comment, like, subscribe, do all the things. And let me know if y'all want more content like this. Because when I tell y'all, I got some stories. And like I said, I'm going to have to come up with a different name. Because story, ain't, it ain't even doing it justice. Like, I'm going to have to come up with a certain type of segment name for when I'm giving y'all the tea about things that have happened in my life. So, 
y'all like literally don't look like what I've been through. But again, please like, comment, subscribe. Please tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend that Jody Joe, Jody Ross is over there making a um, YouTube channel and dropping videos. That last video she dropped that story time was T. Make sure to tell people to have them sitting here. And thank you so much for the support thus far. Thank you for the views. Thank you for the likes. Everything thus far. Like, it really means the world to me. Y'all really don't be having a clue. And I know it's like, girl, you ain't even got that many people yet. But I be, I be going for the small things. Because ain't nobody got to watch you. Okay. So I really do really, really, really appreciate you guys so far thus far for supporting me watching the videos and again please like comment subscribe share the video share the page share the channel get people tapped in get people in tune um as you can see a little whoop i am packing i'm gonna probably in my next vlog stay tuned i'll be giving more details in regards to that um my next vlog will consist of you know my my transition to out of state to my move is literally december 29th as we speak and i moved january 3rd so y'all already know i've already started packing things of that nature but i'll give y'all more of that tea later but thank you so much for watching the video again like comment subscribe and bye i said okay 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 my infatuation is related to another form of what you call it